My good people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you are hearing us from, we are here again with another information. And um, that has to do with history. Yes, I just read something now. I uploaded a video where they are trying to change the history that children ought to learn. Uh, they are now turning Igbos black, white, black, white, you know, so that the children will see the Igbos as invaders and the uh, terrible people even slave masters <laughs> that thing is in their uh, civic education book that is what they are garbaging the children but why we are here today is uh, to confirm that actually yoruba Alsa, and fulani are trying to you know join together against the Igbos. that is what is going on let me read what uh, femi fanekayode said to confirm my claims right now he said the alliance between old western and northern regions has finally been re-established in 2023 that is ffk saying <laughs> all right femi fani kayode has sparked reaction on social media with his recent statement that the old alliance between the old western and northern region of nigeria has finally re-established in 2023 in a post he made via his verified twitter handle ffk who was the director of new media of all progressive congress presidential campaign council said that the people who plotted the january 15 1966 coup were the ones that ended the relationship between the western and northern regions and that he is grateful to god <clears throat> it's grateful to God that the relationship has been re-established 57 years later in 2023. He said, the alliance, the old western region and the old northern region, which the January 15, 1966 school plotters put to an end, has finally been re-established 57 years later in 2023. This is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our sight. <laughs> With this, FFK is implying that it is the political alliance between the Southwest and the North that paved way for the emergence of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a Southwest person, as the president elect reacted. He said, Politics of hate can only be used to capture the minds of illiterates. You can see that the man FFK is demonic. You can see that he's devil's incarnate. His stomach pushes him around. All right? <clears throat> Tunubu did not win the election in the first place. You should know that. Yes, because the 25% they are talking about, Tunubu did not meet up with that. And that nullified whatever he's claiming to have won. All right? That is number one. Number two is this. Fulani's are your enemies, not the Igbos. You are rather enemies of Ndibo. Ndibo did not hate you because Igbos are in Southwest, everywhere in Nigeria, you know, building and living their lives. They buy land from you. You sell land to them with agreement. You sell your land. You do everything with agreement with them and they pay something that makes you calm down. All right? They are not land grabbers like Fulanis are. All right, they rent shops. You take your money and then you release your shop. They sell and build from there. Yet you are angry because they prosper. Let me tell you what do you call those that will not buy land from you? And yet they grab your land and use it for their business. What do you call them, friends? If that is the case, kudos. Then what do you call those that don't rent shop from you, yet they sleep in your shop? by force what do you call them friends wonderful what then do you call those that set your houses ablaze when they invade your community are they friends is it the Igbos? Igbos don't invade any people Igbos can will not invade your land they will come in agreement they will build and they will live in their houses they don't foment problems you are rather the people burning Igbo shops, you know, playing hard jihadic 
economic war against them. And yet, God is with them. Nigeria does not belong to Igbos. We have said it severally. But it's just the few intellectuals, those that feel they know more, they are the ones keeping Igbos. In a place they are so much hated. Just imagine what FFK is saying. We are wishing you well with your Fulani because I know after this political nonsense they are doing, they will come back and suck blood of Yoruba people. They will kill you without remedy, of course. They will kill you without remedy. Tunubu will not save you. Tunubu is gone already. So, Shetima will tell his people to do whatever they like to Yoruba people because of falsehood. Relationship of falsehood does not last. Relationship of injustice, it does not hold water. God is above all things. FFK, shame on you. Shame on you. I just stormed on this. This is a monumental disgrace. You have built for yourself monumental dishonor in life because of your stomach. Tunubu will give you money. Yes, paper money. Paper money. FFK, you will have to meet your savior and you will be judged there. What you used your tongue to do on earth. What your hate has pushed you into. What your stomach has pushed you into. Wife bitter. You beat your wife. Wife bitter. This guy is, has nothing good to write home about. Has nothing that anybody can look and say, eh, this is a man. Ah, people will look at FFK in this life and, and shoot their heads. They will shoot their heads in misery. That, ah, is this the man? Because injustice will rule over his life. Injustice will rule over his life. His generation will be ruled with injustice. He will never go out of this. That relationship, we wish you well. Oh, continue in that relationship. Do not look back. Because if you look back, you will die. Embrace that killer. Embrace this blood-sucking demon. Embrace that invader. Embrace that land grabber. Embrace him very well. Embrace her very well. For the hate of evils. Good luck to all of you. Whatever you see in it, you will take. It's not today. It may be even today. But whatever goes around, comes around. When you pour water up, it will definitely come down. That is how it is. It will come down to all of you who have done this grave injustice against Nebo. That is my words for you. And that is the word of the God of heaven for you. And that's it. Thank you, my people, because um, we must say what we we'll say or do what we we'll do to make sure that truth prevail. Pre truth have to prevail. And that's the truth we are telling you this time around. Ndibo, malo omwege. Know yourself. You are hated. Know yourself. Biko, I beg my people. Go. Stop. Stop investing. Go and invest in your own land. So as to secure that which you have invested. That is the wisest thing to do now. I don't know how long we will say this. Before our people will take it up. 